Hey, Tim Munkert here, and in this video, we're going to look at strings in C Sharp. So you see this hello world. When you start a console application, and the way you start that is you say .NET new console, spaces between .NET new and console, then another space, dash O for output, another space, whatever you want to call it. So uh, I'm using NeoVim for this. I called mine YT example. So it'll create it for you, um, and this is what you'll We'll get started with. So in this video, I just want to show you a little bit about strings and we'll play with them just a little bit. So I'm going to delete this line and then I'm going to start and to declare a string, we're just going to type string and you'll see the highlighting changes a little bit here. I have a groove box theme on my NeoVim and now we want the name of your string. So let's call this one first name. Okay. And, um, First name uh, is going to be, for me, is going to be Tim. And then we'll also do another string, last name. Okay. And it's going to be Unkert. Okay. For me, anyways. So um, what you can do here, and you see it's given me a couple of warnings here uh, that I'm not using these strings yet. So uh, once we use them, the warning should go away. So what I want to do is I'm going to concatenate these strings into a uh, something that I can type out to the screen. So I could say something like console, if I spell it correctly, console dot right line. Uh, and then I could write something like my name is and a space. And then to concatenate, I'll just add a plus. And then I'll do first name. See, it gives me that option. Another plus. Then we want a space between the first name and the last name. And then we'll do last name. Okay. And so you see the warnings will go away because I've used those variables. It's telling me, hey, you need to use these or we want you to use these. Okay. So now I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm going to run this program. All right. So to do that, well, first I need to build it. So I'm going to say .NET build. Okay. And that's going to go ahead and build the program. Okay. All right. And should see in a minute. Okay. Zero warnings, zero errors. All right. So now I'm going to say .NET run. Okay. And it's going to go ahead and run the program. And you'll see it says my name is Tim Unger. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of this terminal and go back to the program, and I'm going to delete this line. And you'll see it comes back with these warnings. Hey, you're not using these again. Um, now I'm using uh, COC OmniSharp, which is uh, uh, COC is a, a plugin for NeoVim. Anyways, uh, so let's say I wanted to, um, you know, put my name in all capitals. So I could do something like string, let's call it all caps. Um, and let's do my first name and let's do that to upper. And we want to include these parentheses uh, plus let's do a space and then plus um, let's do last name and the same thing to upper. Okay, I'll put a semicolon at the end of that, and then I'll console dot right line, uh, and we'll just write. Uh, actually, we'll do my name is, and then a space, and then plus, and we'll do all caps. Okay. All right, and we'll save that. We'll see the warnings go away because we're using all the variables. And I'm going to go and build the program. And then once it builds, I will run it and we'll see the output. Okay, let's run it. And it says, my name is Tim Unkert. It's all caps. Okay. All right. Uh, by the same token, or, or in the same way, we can instead change this to lower, okay? And let's, let's uh, do this one as well, to lower, okay? I'll save it, open up a terminal and build it.
Okay, and then let's run it. Okay, it says my name is Tim Unger. All right, so that's a little bit about strings. Uh, there are many more things you can do with strings, but I just wanted to give you a little bit uh, of a short video, tutorial video in C Sharp on um, manipulating strings a little bit and concatenation. All right, thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. Have a great day.